morning so i am in my pajamas but i have some time before i really have to start getting ready for work so i wanted to clear out some of my vanity area just because i am moving out so i want to make moving out and cleaning up things a little bit easier for me when that time comes so i'm gonna start with one section and then when i get home tonight i'll work on another section and so forth Alrighty, so this is the atrocity that is on the right side of my vanity as you can see there's a ton of stuff so what i'm actually going to start with though is this this is my moisturizer i'm trying to use up and then this is going in the trash too it's a broken handle this is going in the trash this is um a sample of the lancome something i can't pronounce that but it's going in the trash um carmex and then rubber band trash wow this is going by quick okay so um expo pen is not trash but these brushes okay this brush is not trash i need to talk about this one so this came in a wet and wild palette this little blending side is amazing don't care much about this but this blending side amazing floss is not trash this elf cream eyeshadow thingy trash um and then i have some laura mercier sponges i'm actually gonna wash those and hold on to them mainly because um i use that whenever i decide sometimes when i do my eye stuff last and then these samples are trash okay so this whole thingy has been basically cleared out okay so those are bobby pins this is samples probably super old that's trash did i miss i miss okay that's trash this concealer trash this mac one i'll hold on to it for back to mac Alrighty, so i'm left with that these are good these are my elf pencils that one perfume Alrighty. so the eyeliners let's go through these because most of them are probably trash and there's a sample that's trash too Alrighty. So this old NYX one is trash, this one from Ulta, probably trash, that one. Eyeliners are old, so let me see. All of these are basically old, so we'll get rid of those. Um, what do I have? Okay, so the NYX Vivid Brights, that's pretty new too. That's new, this Physician's Formula one. Um, it came in a set of three. I've only only used the blue, the brown, and I gave my mom the black. We can never figure out what to do with the purple. So this we're holding on to. That's new. This is new. That's trash. And this is new. Alrighty. So to finish off this container, let's see what do we have in here. Make some room. Okay. So I have a little sample of this Wet and Wild eyeliner the thing is, is that i just can't really use pencil eyeliners um that's trash it's super old i can't use pencil eyeliners mainly because the way my eyes are that's definitely trash and the thing is is that i guess i just never wanted to come to grips with that reality so i held on to a lot of those eyeliners for nothing um the rest that are left are my nyx jumble milk eyeshadow pencils I know that these all have their own dates and they're probably past their prime but the thing is is that I like to use them for um, swatches um, so when I have eyeshadows that aren't so great that I'm testing out I like to try and use these to help them out a little bit sorry I'm just looking at the time alrighty so I guess I'll have to continue this once I get home later on tonight, um, but my goal is to clean up this little container and then this area. So hopefully, I mean, I probably will be able to do it tonight. Um, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to. So we'll, we'll, we will continue this tonight. Um, the things that I am keeping though are these shadow sticks that are brand new. I just got these from my auntie. So I'm going to give them a try and then the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner and this Avon eyeliner. It's just a cheap eyeliner that I got. So just if I need a tight line, I'm keeping those. So that has been cleaned out pretty well. All right. I will see you guys after work. Alrighty. So I'm back from work. Actually, I've been back for a while. I had dinner and a lot of other stuff. Anyhow, we're going to continue on purging this. So I cleaned out that. I don't know what's 
really underneath this mess over here. I just kind of piled stuff on top so I wouldn't have to look at it. But we'll see what we have. Alrighty, so we have a bunch of sheet masks, which are still good. So those will have to go somewhere. I don't know where. Um, some Hello Kitty clips. I don't, I mean, I'm not throwing it away because it's still good, but I might just donate this. Um, alrighty, so that's placed to the side. Um, a bracelet, again, probably will just donate that to something. Um, a Star Wars a mascara from CoverGirl. So this is a collector's edition. Obviously, it's not open. So I'm just going to keep this in my collection because, again, collector's edition. This is the magnified side of my mirror, Sephora mirror that broke. That's a hairbrush. We're obviously keeping that. I'm running out of room to put things. This is another hairbrush. Again, obviously keeping that. Um, so that is a sample which will be tossed. This is my doll, which I probably will keep. This is my doll too. That's my doll too. So keeping that, this is a bracelet. No, I'll give that away. Um, all right. And then this old sponge we're tossing. Okay. So in this other little container here, I have that we're tossing, we're tossing that. Um, this, we're also tossing. That one, I'll toss, because I don't need that. Toss those. This is broken. That's getting tossed. This is, I mean, that's still good. This is obviously broken. This is broken, so that's tossed. Um, this is a Chanel brush. Obviously not tossing the Chanel brushes because come on, let's be real here. Would never be able to afford those. Tossing those. The rest of this will be tossed because they are all not worth anything. Alright, so that's empty. One container completely emptied and good to go. Alrighty, so that was pretty quick. Okay. So the rest of the things in here are my brushes and my other brushes. These um, I clean out quite often, so there really isn't anything to be kept in, I mean, that I need to really toss. Um, I keep some of these older mascaras in here just so I can reference them whenever I do reviews. So I keep those older mascaras in here just because I can reach for them. But things that I buy quite often, like this Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Angel, I will toss it once I use it up. And then I also have a small little baby eyeliner. Um, so that's about it. So those are going to stay the way they are. And yeah. All right. Okay, so obviously this is um, a dirty rag that I use to wipe off a lot of my uh, brushes that I use during the day. Um, so a lot of it has been accumulated here. Um, lip scrubs I have been testing out, so these are obviously going to stay. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Like I said, I'm keeping these and I'm keeping the floss because we have to keep the floss. And then that's just trash. Okay. So those sponges, they're still good. I'm keeping them. They're from Ulta. You get two in a pack and they're $10. So that's a really good deal. Um, alrighty. So I have the, the e.l.f. BB cream. That is so good. I'm still using that. I still have a little bit left of the Naked Skin sample. What is that? Ew, it's chunked up foundation. I still have some of this left. So that's going to be hanging around a little bit. And then I have my Bobbi Pin container which is still good, eyelash applicator, my everyday perfume, and then contour stick. Some of these things could probably actually go back to my actual face drawer that I have. This obviously is not for face, but it's hair stuff. But I use this concealer on an everyday basis, so this is staying out, obviously. Um, my Revlon Precision Lash Glue, this can go back into the lash drawer. Um, let's see what else do I have. I have the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Spray. I use this on an everyday basis, so that's going to stay there. Um, and I just have hair all over the place. 
the it's a 10 i use this every single day too so it's staying out i don't use the tart tart guard um every single day anymore because um, just because it was winter, I felt like it was drying out my skin a lot, but since we are going to be hitting daylight savings time again, I'm just going to keep it out because I'll be in the sun a lot more than I have been. And again, I'm just saving this for back to matte. And then this Hello Kitty ColourPop, I use it a lot, so this will just stay out. And basically, I'm left with just this little sample of Sephora Collection Colored Lip Balm. So, I mean, I'm still gonna use it, so we'll just put that away. Um, okay, so I basically purged this out, this container here, to go into this little Hello Kitty container. I'm not gonna purge a lot, just these mascaras. Unfortunately, with a lot of mascaras that come in, like their little sample, I can't use it because they're not waterproof. I'm also getting rid of my Merle Norman um, eye cream and the benefits what's up actually you know I'm gonna keep this just to use for review purposes but other than that the rest of it is just all jewelry so that's good to go alrighty so the last thing I'm gonna purge out right now will be this section right here to be honest I'm not gonna purge out a ton I'm probably just gonna put some things away because I still use a decent amount of this. So this is gonna be put away. This is the Tresemme Perfectly Undone. I used this when I had, my hair was a lot longer, but um, now that it's shorter, I don't find myself reaching for it. This is gonna be tossed. This is Garnier Fructis's, um Flat Iron Heat Protectant. So that's gone. This can be put away. It's the Formula 10.0.6 peel off mask so I'll just put that away um, this will be tossed it's a really old Aussie hair insurance if you find the spray version the spray version is a lot better than that one this is just a bottle of Beyond Zone color jam and it's in the color purple passion I mix this in with my red hair dyes even though I don't think you're supposed to but I just feel like it makes the red pop a lot more so I'm keeping that even though I haven't dyed my hair in a while this is a new soap and I basically bought it for a memento steak because it is based off of Doctor Who, which is one of my favorite shows. So that is going to be put in storage. Um, this is my everyday cleanser. So obviously that's going to stay out. This is my almost everyday makeup remover. So that's staying out too. It's the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and it's for waterproof makeup. Um, the Real Techniques Brush Cleansing Gel. I actually use this to clean my sponges so that's staying out as well and then my Dove um, dry shampoo I don't really care for this dry shampoo but it's the only one I have and I have a little bit left so I'm just gonna use that up and finally the last thing that I'm actually gonna be putting away is the ends on the men's by herbal essence this smells amazing but my hair is very it's pretty short so again I don't find myself reaching for it or else it would just make my hair extremely oily. alrighty so I hope you guys enjoyed that decluttering just a little bit I will probably have a lot more videos coming up regarding decluttering because I have to pack everything up so I hope you guys will stick with me through this journey i know i'm in the same pajamas as i uh as the uh, last video that i posted but i promise you it's been weeks since i recorded that last video and these pajamas have been washed um anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did let me know by giving it a thumbs up also if you have any good storage ideas that you would like to share or organizational ideas especially when it comes to makeup products please please let me know i'm always interested in checking them out and until my next video i'll see you guys later bye